Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Erin. Every day on the ranch is a chance to learn something new. And being a rancher or farmer is not only a job, but it's a way of life. Today we get to share with you some of the lessons that we've learned from the ranch on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Only a few short years ago, both Aaron and I sat at a desk, filing budget reports and filling out time cards and buying chocolate bars from other coworkers' kids. All that changed when we decided to drop it all and move to Wyoming to live and work on the family ranch. Many lessons came on the way. Some of them were very hard. And we invite you to subscribe and come along with us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary through ranching, gardening, family, ranch-style cooking, and a whole lot more. When we came to the ranch, all things changed for us, our entire way of thinking. We had to rebuild ourselves to be better people, different people, to work for ourselves and be only accountable to ourselves. It wasn't easy, and along the way we learned a lot of lessons. We were and still are extremely lucky to have been given this opportunity to live this life. And one of the first lessons that we learned here on the ranch was always be grateful and give back. We are lucky. We have a roof over our head, the heat is on, and we have three wonderful kids. Working on the ranch opened up opportunities for us to serve others. Service is a privilege and never a burden, and we do it in many ways. We provide local vegetables, beef, and pork to our community. Our local master gardener group that I'm involved with helps start a community orchard in a local park that provides anyone who wants to come to pick an opportunity to enjoy fresh fruit. We, each year, we also donate hundreds of pounds of meat and vegetables through our farmer's market Share the Harvest program to our local council of community services. For us, it's important to give back and no one should ever be hungry. Serving others is important, and it always feels good. Nothing compares to hard work. It's something that will never leave you, and it's required around here. If you aren't willing to work, you can't survive. It's that simple, and nothing comes easy. Sometimes to accomplish something great, you have to take the hard route. There's an old saying, nothing in the world is worth having or worth doing unless it means effort, pain, and difficulty. I've never envied a human who led an easy life, and I've envied a great many people who led difficult lives and led them well. That was actually Teddy Roosevelt that said that. Oh. It wasn't me. <laughs> you should just take credit. <laughs> <laughs> when someone tells you that you can't do something, prove them wrong. Sometimes I think that when people tell you that you can't do something, maybe they are only telling you that they can't do it. True. A good example for me was when I started winter growing this year. I planted vegetables in the high tunnel in the hopes of having fresh veggies all year round at our winter farmer's market with no heat. Some people said it couldn't be done, but it didn't stop me. We have had vegetables that have gotten through negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not an I told you so kind of person, but it does make me feel good every time I go out there and I get to harvest our fresh vegetables. The importance of farming and ranching and agriculture in general. Before we came to the ranch, we didn't give two thoughts about where our food came from. It was, it came from the grocery store. Eggs came from a cardboard carton and beef was on little styrofoam plates with cellophane wrapped around them. I even used to uh, be able to eat a steak at a restaurant. I can't do that anymore. I'm totally spoiled. You are spoiled. All humans <laughs> depend on agriculture for food worldwide. And... Worldwide agriculture actually employs about 45% of the working population, wow. although only 2% of that is in the United States. Some parts of Asia and Africa, it's over 80% of the labor force that's engaged in agriculture. Even with those simple statistics, it's easy for anybody to see that it's important, but for the families engaged into it, I, I think it's much more important than that. Always hope for the best, but plan for the worst. Over the last five years, we've had three of those years in drought. That means we were unable to put up hay for the animals to eat for over the winter, or a couple years we were only able to put up very little. We've had to buy hay from an outside sources, and for sometimes as much as three times as what it costs for us to produce our own hay. That means cutting cost everywhere and being prepared to do so. 
every year we are optimistic for a good hay crop. Healthy calves, rain, good prices at auction. It's not asking too much. <laughs> because being positive helps us see new opportunities grow and learn and keep moving. Being negative or pessimistic, it doesn't achieve much. You have to be an optimist to be a farmer or a rancher. I think so. Next year's always going to be better. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. <laughs> <laughs> That's respect <laughs> for those that can't spell. <laughs> Over the years, I've had to learn how to respect everybody and everything. Our elders, other people, no matter their occupation, the land and the animals. Without those that came before us, none of this would be here. The good and the bad of it. Of course, if you give respect, you get respect. And you can't disrespect the animals or the land and think they're going to respect you at all. It just doesn't work that way. That's one of the lessons that we learned really quick after we got here. Yeah. Build your project list, but don't let it run your life. We all have jobs to do. We all have commitments and deadlines. It doesn't matter what you do, you have to deal with them. Mike has a project list yeah. that grows longer every day. And in the summer, I have a project list that's the same way. But we constantly have to remind each other that if it were life or death, it wouldn't be on the list. It would already be done. Stop and breathe, smell the roses, or the manure if it's springtime. <laughs> yeah, depending on the season. <laughs> set goals. Along the same lines as the project list, it's important to set goals. Every day we have a goal for what both of us want to get done. We sit down, we have our morning coffee, and we talk about our day, our plans, and how we can work together, get our jobs done, and work it out right right I mean, that's pretty much all we do some goals are bigger than others Erin's always planning on expanding her farmer's market business on on the ranch we're trying new things and feeding strategies animal nutrition new tools to make things better goals help you believe in yourself don't you think i agree yeah they, they give you a direction and a reason to get up early every morning and go to bed late every night just like a map goals help you get to your destination faster than just sailing through life aimlessly be a problem solver. It's easy to be a problem identifier and to look at a problem and point it out. I have lots of people like that in my life. <laughs> it's much harder to be a problem solver. Solving problems is something that comes up constantly on the ranch. Many times there are easier solutions, but the easier they are, the more they usually cost. <laughs> And one portion of being a problem solver on the ranch is knowing the value of a dollar. Just like in the fields, everywhere weed is growing, there could be grass growing. And everywhere that we spend a dollar that we didn't need to is taking away from someplace that dollar could be spent better. Eventually, the future of the ranch could come down to one dollar or one problem, and we better be able to solve it. Don't apologize for what you do. Last but not least, it's something we didn't actually really have to deal with until we got into this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> uh, we do what we do because we love doing it. It may not have started that way. The first few years here on the ranch, and Aaron will attest to this, were very hard. They were full of self-doubt. We didn't even think we were going to make it. Uh, dealing with a totally alien situation and a job to family matters and the stress of all that. And also... Something that we didn't know anything about. We didn't know yeah. anything about ranching. The learning curve was really steep, but we took the challenge and we became who we are. Others may not agree with what we do or how we do it, and that's perfectly okay. Because how else do you learn unless you see a different way of doing something and take that for your own? We don't apologize for being who we are or what we do. We support our family. We provide food for thousands of other families in one way or another, and we're very proud to do it. You know what, now that I think about it, there's probably hundreds of lessons that we've actually learned since we've been here on the ranch. And if I had to nail it down to one that could sum it all up and pick the most valuable to me, it would have to be to learn from your mistakes or own your mistakes. Um, to me, it's the, it's the quickest way to learn. If you don't own up to them, you're not going to learn. And I've had some mistakes that are embarrassing, others that cost money, and some that were just plain stupid. But I take each one and I grow from it. And I really hope not to make it again. And don't leave the cow gate open. Yeah, don't leave the cow gate open. That's always a good thing. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. It's been fun. We rarely get to sit and make videos together. 
it seems always seems like we're running in five different directions. Sometimes we just pass each other in the middle of the day and wave. And like, that's, that's, that's I'm true. not kidding. Like we have passed each other driving through the <laughs> On the yard. highway. On the, <laughs> yeah, that has happened many, many different uh, times. Be sure to subscribe for more from The Ranch Life. Uh, we've got new videos for you three times a week. Garden season is getting ready to fire off. We're getting uh, going. Yeah, calving's just around the corner, and that means spring. Oh, gosh, please. Hopefully. It's like <laughs> minus, what is it, like minus five degrees yeah, outside Yeah, super right cold today. Uh, so that's why I'm not outside. We're sitting in a nice, cozy room. In our family room. In our family room, yeah. <laughs> uh, more lessons to come. If anyone tells you they know everything, there's still one big, really, really big lesson that they haven't learned yet. Just remember that. Until next time, have a great week. Thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.